Right, okay, it's now lunchtime, and the yearlings are going to come in and have some lunch. Come on then. We just take these boots on, uh, just so that they don't bite them off, because they have young young horses have a tendency to chew everything. So we just take them on, so you can't chew them off. Come on then, Gertie. That's it, good girl. You don't have any lunch yet. The sort of person we're looking for to come on our course is, is somebody who's keen. Somebody who really, really wants to do this job. And it may well be that they haven't had any chance to experience before. With the apprenticeship uh, course, they can come with no experience at all, never have touched a horse. In fact, some of our best students have come having never been around horses before in their lives. But with the diploma course, we ask for a little bit more experience because it's fairly intense and it's, it's for a full six month course. But the apprentices, 16 year old, no experience of horses, we would welcome anybody who's keen and wants to have a go. Right, okay, we're just gonna groom this little fella. Um, he's one of our sales, yearlings, so we're just gonna give him a groom up, give him a clean, and uh, get him looking nice. Kind of, uh, just brushing their manes and tails. Um, obviously this guy's been out and had a bit of a roll, so he's got some mud on him. So we'll just get that off. Um, with the National Stud being in Newmarket, Newmarket's such a nice place. Um, everybody's horsey folk. Um, it's completely different to the surroundings in London. Obviously London's very busy, very hectic. Um, everybody's rushing about, but in Newmarket it's just so relaxed. Uh, there's countryside everywhere. It's very quiet, very relaxing, which reflects sort of how my life is now. Um, so horses is um, is a relaxing type of life. <laughs> it's currently out of the season at the moment but um, the following season will start around from about uh, end of December, beginning of January. All the foals start being born in January um, and that's when it starts to get incredibly busy. Um, you get heavy mares in and they start to fall down and obviously then you have two to look after. Um, we can have anything up to 300 mares on the stud. Um, then our diploma students come in and start to get their experience with following and obviously it helps us um, with the volume of work because there's lots and lots of working out, lots and lots of moving mares and foals about looking after them. So there's lots to do. It does get very, very busy and very, very um, long hours in, in the season. But it's still very rewarding um, to see the foals go from birth all the way up and healthy. It's good. When Tony came for interview, she was one of the people who stuck immediately in our memory. Uh, she was very enthusiastic, very keen. Her interview, she just over bubbled with what she wanted to do. Um, and she has continued to do that through the entire course. She's been a delight to have on the course and because she was such a strong student, when we interviewed for diploma students to stay on to do yearling handwork, she was certainly top of the list and we gave her one of the jobs that was available. Okay, we're just here with these fillies. Um, we're going to take a bandage off of uh, the grey filly. Um, she's got a bit of a swollen leg, so we're going to take it off now so that during the night, if it comes off or comes loose, she doesn't panic and then run around the paddock and possibly damaging herself any, th any further. So we're just gonna whip it off now. The only thing I don't really like about the job is the winter mornings when your feet are cold and your hands are cold, but you still have to get up and go and do it. Um, but there's always something in you that drives you to get up and do it. Um, the things I love about this job is I mean, in the foaling season, obviously, you're bringing life into, into the world, and that's amazing in itself. Um, but you coming to work and you doing those jobs and you doing what you do every day makes a difference to those horses, and you can see it in them every day. That's, and it's satisfaction, job satisfaction completely. Um, that's what I love. I really hope you've enjoyed following me around today on the stud. Um, if you do decide to come into this industry, I can guarantee you'll have a great time.
my top tip for anybody getting into the equine industry would to be to get yourself some experience, uh, maybe at local riding schools or livery, livery yards, um, or you could go down the uh, training route and maybe do something like that we do here at the National Stud, a modern apprenticeship or a diploma course. Um, you don't need a great deal of experience, you just need the willingness to learn and succeed.